up, everybody? It's Julian. Today, we're going to be talking about how to do Kwan Kunstler style hard melodic techno. This guy has changed the game over the past few years, and today, I'm going to be showing you some brand new, never shown before techniques on how to make his style of music. To go along this video, you can get the full template at the top of the description that you just heard in the intro that we're breaking down in this video. Definitely make sure to grab that on my website. Thanks for the support, everybody, and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we got going on is the kick. We're at 146 BPM. It sounds like this. So every time you're making techno, you want to start with the kick. I've got this one. But you can hear it has a rumble in it. We're doing a little sub cut, and we're boosting a little bit at the top here for some more like click and punch, and then converting to mono. And then we have this layer. So the kick sounds like this, and then we add this. And you can hear the second layer helps this rumble cut through the mid-range of the track really well. So all it's doing is we're taking the same kick that you just heard, and then we're using this auto pan to get rid of like the kicks, right? So it's just bouncing up like that. We high pass it, distort that, low pass that so we're getting rid of the highs, and then another auto pan. Then we got the rest of the drums, which sound like this. So it starts right here with these, kind of like the main drums. These are from my Definitive Rave Sounds pack. You can see I got this ride which has got a little auto pan on it as well to make it bounce off the kick. And this hi-hat, which also has that. So you see the auto pan makes it nice and tight and punchy, plus then this clap. And the technique with this is we're taking a regular clap and distorting it, and you can hear it makes it longer, and it makes it more like a so you get like... And that's how he does the snares that you hear in his track. We've also got these loops. So just a few rave loops, adding some mid-range and some percussion. You can see the auto pan and the high pass is strong with these ones. And then I have them grouped kind of as one thing. So yeah, you always want to start with your drums, even when it's this melodic type of track. Get those good. And all this other stuff can work. So the next thing we got is the respace. So what we're doing here is a pretty simple bass line. We're going to keep E minor. We're doing root, sixth, third right and then up here it's another root or excuse me it's a fifth and then it's another root right so pretty simple stuff using the scale you're basically just kind of creating like it's almost like a hook bass line now for the actual sound on this one i'm going to turn off all the effects this is what it sounds like straight out of serum So yeah, I'm using Serum this time. I wanted to show you guys how to do it in here. We've got this basic CJW with a bunch of unison, and then this acid wavetable with no unison. The acid also has a little LFO on the wavetable position, just to move it like a tiny bit. We've got a bit of chorus, and then some distortion. And the nice thing I like to do here is blend it. You see all the way up? It's just destroyed. So you just bring that down a little bit. Then after the serum, we have this pedal. So just a bit of harmonic excitement in the mids. Reverb. Now this is the secret for these because it's a bass line, but you don't want it to get in the way of the other bass, right? So if you kind of put a little reverb on your Reese like this, and I've noticed he does this, it kind of pushes it like a little bit away in the mix, and it really helps. There's this auto pan. Making it bounce off the kick. High pass filter so it doesn't get in the way of the actual rumble. And we high pass it a little higher since there's the second layer of rumble there, right? 
And that's it. Then we have our lead synth. Now what we're doing here is we're actually playing around with the third kind of as the root. Like it's going third, fifth, third, ninth, fifth, third. Like we're literally just, or ninth, fifth, ninth, right? We're just using those two voices and then keeping the middle note the same. And it makes it really catchy because it's less notes, plus it's going to interface really well with the bass line. Now, just dry the serum patch on this one sounds like this. So what I'm doing is I'm actually using this evil long wave wavetable with a bunch of unison. There's an envelope on it, plus there's a little envelope on the sink as well. And then we have that same envelope on this filter over here, so without that... With it, you can see that just makes it a little more punchy. We've got a little bit of distortion. Here's without that. With it, you can see it just adds a little push, some delay, and some reverb. We've got a bit of reverb after that. Make it nice and atmospheric, right? Auto pan to make it bounce off the kick. And then a high pass filter so it doesn't get in the way of anything else. And there we are. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can get this full project file, samples, MIDI, presets, the entire template. is available at the top of the description on my website. Definitely don't miss out while it's available. Thanks for the support, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video.